welcome back or welcome to my channel you guys so today i am back with another hair review today's video is a little bit different and it's sponsored by wiggins hair they were kind of to send me over this 22 inch kinky straight yakky u-part wig i've never worked with u-part wig before this is my first time so yeah thank you to wiggins hair for sponsoring this video i've worked with them before i'll link that video right here if you haven't seen it go watch but yeah no more talking no more rambling we're gonna jump right into the video we're gonna start with the unboxing then i will get into me styling the hair first because i straightened it before i installed it then installing styling and all that and then i will give y'all my review on this unit so if you want to see all of that then keep on watching Mm -hmm. 
Okay, y'all, I really hope this goes well because I've never worked with one of these wigs before. But it seems pretty easy. I mean, you just clip it in place, right? A little clips right here. You know, you just clip them around this area and then on the sides and that should be it right i mean i already straightened it the other day well as straight as i could get it i don't know is this as straight as these textures get this yakky i've never had this but i went over there here so many times and it's still like kind of puffy so i don't know but it should be pretty simple so i will have to do is straighten this section right here i just left this part out and parted it in this kind of shape you know like the same shape as this it's thundering y'all no rain okay so you just put it on okay let me start with the back one clipped it there clip the sides right i mean that's really it do this right here clip that right there and then <laughs> clip this right here i'm gonna clip the one in the back too and then there's another one on the side over here so i'm gonna clip this one down I mean that's it right okay so this is the hair and then here's my hair does it even blend this don't even match my hair these are two different colors look like so this is my hair right here she was about the same length look at that this is the wig this is my hair so i have never straightened my own hair before so uh we'll see how it goes this is why i don't work with wigs like this i've had companies ask me to do v part i part u part a b c d part whatever part and i always tell them like i don't work with wigs like that because when i wear wigs or weave at all i don't plan on having any of my hair out i just feel like that defeats the whole purpose like you know what i'm saying and it's supposed to be like protective style or whatever why would i have my hair out and then i have to put heat on it to make it blend so that's why i don't work with wigs like this but i was like i'm gonna just try it once at least they sent a texture that would blend with my kind of hair and at least the length is the length of my hair so it kind of works out okay so i'm just gonna do a middle part this is crazy like this actually like looks like my hair um okay i guess this is the part where i straighten it i don't want to do this i don't want to mess my hair up i do not straighten my own hair so i'm just part it in two sections on each half and see my darn comb is done for how do i do this i don't even know how to hold my hand okay i got my babyliss pro titanium flat iron i got it set to 390 which is the second from highest setting and I'm just, and that's all I'm gonna do. I'm doing one pass because I do not straighten my hair. So it's really two different colors, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this piece. And I put G Silk Infusion on my hair. I put it on the wig too. hot comb on my roots i'm gonna put it between 10 and 15 i'm not turning the heat all the way up i'm so terrified of messing up my hair this is why i don't straighten it when i get it straightened i let somebody else do it professionals now i'm gonna divide this in half Here, bro this is my hair what are you talking about all right let me hit these roots i wish the um hair wasn't so poofy and it kind of matched because as you can see my hair is a little bit darker I'm gonna brush my hair over the section back there i mean that's really it huh i feel like i should go over the wig some more it's good as don't get i guess but this is my hair though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is my hair. Grew it myself. This is what the top looks like. And then I'm gonna show y'all the back. This was real easy. Like I have been filming for like 30 minutes. So here's the back. Now 
and I can tuck it behind my ears like this. Don't do this though. Don't do that unless you leave out like a section right here and right here then you can have it out and like cover this right here if you want to do one of these but i'm not doing all that i just left out the section right here but you can do that though you can leave out a section right here to brush over but yeah this is my hair y'all let me know if this is as straight as like these yaki textures get or did i do something wrong do i need to put some type of other product on it other than cheese so confusion do i need to do even smaller sections than i was doing because i feel like i was doing like small sections or what because i just don't feel like it's that flat but yeah okay on to the review all right y'all so y'all just saw me install style this unit and all that now i'm gonna give y'all my review on this unit so we're gonna start with my number one which is if it's big head friendly or not and she is big head friendly i didn't struggle to get her on at all this isn't a lace frontal unit so it was really quick and easy to work with i mean really quick once i put it on all i had to do was straighten this little section right here and done yeah it was really easy to work with and also i really like how much it blends with my hair like it really looks like my hair the only thing was the color match like as y'all can see my hair is a little bit darker than the wig so but like you really can't tell like once i brush it over and brush my hair through it's really not that noticeable at all but it looks really good like it blends so well like look at the top this is my hair like you can't tell me this isn't my hair you can't um and then it's the same length like this is my hair right here and then this is the wig like Pretty much the same length so that worked out really well for me the texture matches the length matches um only thing was the color shedding and tangling it actually doesn't tangle it's really easy to comb through and brush through it does shed a little bit but nothing too crazy at all it's not an issue just like a normal amount of shedding for a wig also really like how it's made i don't know if all you part wigs are made that way like there's a clip here a clip here a clip right here and then a clip on each side right here and then a clip in the back so i really like that they have enough clips to make sure it's secure to your head and you have to worry about it sliding around and falling off or none of that so yeah love that and i'm trying to think if there's anything else i feel like the length is definitely giving 22 inches because last time i checked my hair was around like 20 inches though so which i know it has grown so yeah i guess it grew another two inches because it lines up with this wig right here and it's 22 inches so yeah, pass a length check test. I don't know, do they do densities with these wigs? Let me see. Okay, so this one is 180% density. So if you don't want it like this thick, which I really probably could have went with the 150 because it's so kind of puffy looking, I guess. I probably could have got away with 150 and it still looked really good and blended with my hair. But this is a 180% and it's definitely full. Y'all know I don't do thin. Yeah, it's definitely really full. Like, I'm gonna show y'all, see? I really like her y'all um like i said i've never worked with these type of units before and i have companies ask me all the time to do videos like this but this will probably be the only video that i do with a u-part wig because like i said i don't like to have my hair out when i wear wigs and stuff i feel like that defeats the whole purpose like i'm trying to protect my hair and put it away so having it out defeats the whole purpose especially if i have to put heat on it to make it blend with the wig no and i really don't like putting heat on my hair a whole lot so this will probably be the only time y'all catch me with a U-part wig. So y'all better eat it up, enjoy it because I think it's gonna be the only time. But I love her, like I'm really happy with it. So I'm glad that my one and only experience with a U-part wig was a good one. It blends so well, like it looks so good. This is my hair, bro, this is my hair. Who's gonna tell me that it's not? I'm just, who? But she looks so good though. So overall, I'm gonna give this unit a 10 out of 10. No problems, no issues, no complaints for me. 10 out of 10, go purchase it. If you want to purchase this unit for yourself, the link will be down in the description box below as always. And be sure to check for a coupon code because there might be one. I don't know if they gave me one or not. I can't remember. But check just in case. Get you some coins off. Well, that is it for this video, you guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl channel, please. And thank you. And make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So make sure your post notifications are on and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.